Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this video we are going to talk about this topic which says how to enable HTTPS in your domain hosted on Linux remote server or VPS. Right, so there are a couple of steps that we need to follow for doing this. Now how it happens that is what I will show you practically. Okay, so stay tuned with me and do not skip any part of this video. Watch this video from the beginning till the end completely. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and straight away dive into the tutorial. So, uh, we are going to check the first step. But before that, I would like to show you the entire setup wherein uh, we have a Django application hosted on an Ubuntu server. And we have a domain name also which is pointing to that particular domain server. Okay, so let me show you the setup first. This is uh, the Ubuntu server I was talking about. Right, and I have the application, the Django application hosted over here in this www named folder. So this is, these are the folders and files of my Django application. Right and it's there in this folder www so i have created a folder named chatbot in it wherein i have all the code okay then uh, the second thing that i would like to show you is the nginx part so i can find it in the etc named folder and here i have the nginx installed okay so we have a folder named sites available in which we have this configuration file named chatbot wherein you can see I have the server name as bimsai.net and www.bimsai.net so you know this is the domain which I have on Hostinger right and if you see here I have pointed my Ubuntu server's IP I have pointed my domain to the Ubuntu server's IP Okay, so if I access this bimsai.net, what will happen and what things will I get? Let's check it out. So this is the home page. Okay, hello world. Right, now coming back to uh, this, these points. So as you, as you can see over here, it's already SSL certified. Okay, it's a secure domain. Now how I did that, that is what I will be telling you in this video, okay. So here the first step says install certboot and its nginx plugin, okay. So basically what you have to do after configuring your uh, application and entire thing, you have to come on your server and simply fire this command for installing certboot and there is another library called python3 certboot nginx okay so you can install it because i have already i have it already on my server so i'm not going to do it again but uh, this is the first step that you have to do okay once you're done with installing this certboot and you know this library what is the next step next step is you have to check the status of your firewall now how to do that, that is what I will show it to you. So this is what I am getting currently. So basically it's not mandatory for you to allow or uh, you know activate the firewall. But there are two things which you will have to allow. <coughs> the first thing is the port on which you would like to uh, you know take the traffic in. To the Ubuntu server. So generally on HTTPS we use port 443 and on HTTP we use port 80. There is one thing called sudo uwu allow 80 slash tcp that is what you have to do. So as to allow the traffic tcp traffic on port number 80. The second thing that you have to do is you have to allow the traffic on port number 443 also so that when you will try to access your server on HTTPS through the domain, you will bind it with, you will be able to do it. Okay, so these are the two things which you will have to do. Fine, once you are done with that, 
you'll have to install this certificate okay now how what all things you have to write over here that is what i would like to show it to you once so just make a note of all the commands that i'm showing to you okay you can use this command also for allowing ssh if you uh, don't have it this is a command which i fired initially sudo certboot nginx dash d bimsai.net www.bimsai.net so on hostinger if you see i have a domain called bimsai.net right and now i would like to i wanted to you know uh, install a certificate a cert boot certificate on uh, for this particular domain now wh while i was trying it you know it was giving me an error because this www.bimsai.net is pointing to something else now i was not able to figure it out from here what it is pointing to so what i did basically is i removed this line from here and simply fired this command sudo certboot nginx dash d bimsai.net and installed the certificate successfully on my device okay now after installing the certificate what you have to do let me show that to you so it is sudo system ctl status certboot.in so you have to check the status of certboot let me fire this command and see what are we going to get for my ubuntu server so it says enabled and it is active right now okay uh, and what is the next thing sudo certboot remove dry run so you need not to run this if you do not want to uh, you know do not want certboot to auto renew your certificate you have to just run it only when you want it to get auto renew fine so this is something that uh, you know you don't have to worry about now what is the next thing the next thing is in your uh, you know nginx configuration file which you have in sites available you have to copy and paste the uh, you know path of your private key okay and this key which gets downloaded once you install the cert so if you see here this is the whole configuration that i have in the uh, sites available configuration file for my django application okay and if you want it you can let me know about it on my uh, whatsapp number or you can put something in the description section so that i can help you with all this information okay so this is where you see uh, you know Uh, my ssl configuration information is there so what i'm saying is by listening on 443 these are the things which you need to consider okay so this is where you'll find the uh, full chain pen key this is where you'll find the private key so this is a certificate right and please uh, use nginx configuration okay and then this is for encryption So basically this is what we have over here which with the help of which we are able to access it securely over this uh, uh, you know domain right i hope uh, this thing is clear to you in case you have any queries related to uh, you know this topic you can let me know in the description section if you haven't understood any point or if this these steps didn't worked out for you let me know about it so that i can help you for so this is it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys liked it bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys